Hello everybody and welcome to our Final Fantasy TCG video tutorials. I'm Fab, this is Kagegama-san, the creator of the game, and we'll be your host in this series where we will teach you everything you need to know to just pick up a deck, play and enjoy this wonderful game. Let's go! Let's go! The Final Fantasy trading card game is all about generating resources called Crystal Points or CPs in order to play cards on the field, use special abilities and defeat your opponent. There are three different types of cards you will use in Opus 1, Backups, Forwards and Summons. Let's check those individually. Backups are used to generate resources and some of them have abilities too. Think of them as a support class. The Forwards are your attackers, you can see their power level in the bottom right corner. As for Summons, they're one-shot cards. You just pay their cost, use their ability and discard them. The card color tells you its element and you can see the cost in the top left corner. For instance, this is a fire backup and you need two crystal points in order to play this card. Note that you always need at least one crystal of the same color of the card when paying its cost. So we've seen that in this game, in order to play cards or use abilities, you need to pay their cost. And in order to pay that cost, you need to generate crystal points. There are two ways to do this. You can either use a backup and dull it, which is essentially rotating the card like that. This gives you one crystal point of the element of the card. For instance, this is an earth backup. If I dull it, I get one earth crystal. The other way to generate resources is to discard a card. You can discard any type of card, put it in the break zone, and this gives you two crystal points of the card's element. For instance, if I discard this earth backup, this gives me two earth crystals. Now, we've seen all the basics, let's play a couple turns. Okay, so this is your play map. This is essentially your battlefield. So there are different zones. This is the deck, this is where you put your deck, obviously, like so. This is the break zone. The break zone is where you uh, put your discarded cards, or where you put your forwards once they've been defeated, or your summons once you've used their abilities. Imagine a line here. This is where your forwards go. This is where the backups go. And as for the damage zone, what happens in this game when you take a damage is that you flip a card over like this, and you put it in the damage zone. Once you have seven here, you lost. All right, shall we try a couple turns? Okay, let's go. Yep. So at the beginning of the game, each player is going to draw five cards. And I'm going to let you do the others. Oh, thank you. Draw and discard one card. I get two crystal points. Yes. And I pay it. Oh, that's important. So as you've seen, Kageyama san just played a backup. Backups always are played in a dull state. This means you can't use them in the first turn. This is an important point. Okay, your turn. My turn. Okay, so I'm going to draw two cards. And I'm going to discard one backup, which is going to give me two fire crystals. And I'm going to play this backup in a dull state. I am also going to discard this forward that gives me two fire crystals and another backup that gives me another two fire crystals in order to play Furion. Oh. So as you can see, I played it not in a dull state and the reason is that I still need to be able to block with it. But this being said, I can't attack the first turn. So, your turn. Okay. Important point, always put your cards that were dealt back in an active state at the beginning of your turn. Hello. I get one crystal point. Okay. I pay it. Okay. And discard one card. I pay it. So two crystal points to, uh, to play Barrett, which yes. is two. Okay. Your okay. turn. My turn. Okay, so I'm going to draw two cards. Oops. Okay, I have otherwise. <laughs> oh, yes, right. I always forget. That's absolutely true. As we explained, always put your cards that were dull back in active state at the beginning of the turn. All right. Um, I am going to discard one backup that gives me two fire crystals and I'm going to dull this backup to generate another fire crystal so that's three CPs and I'm going to play Brynhilde or I don't know how to pronounce it <laughs> on Barret so wow. it deals 7000 damage and Barret is defeated Yes 
So as explained, you put your cards in the break zone. Barrett defeated and the summon I just used. And uh, I'm gonna attack with Furion. Okay, so I take it. So one point damage and in the break zone. All right, that was the basics. Now let's move into the specifics. <laughs> 